Hello viewers, today I will be solving this Mexico Math Olympiad exponential problem. Now here we have a to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals to 130. Follow me. Now simplifying this, my 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3 x plus 2 to the power of x equals 130. Now, using the rule of indices, I can change the position of 3 and x. Okay, so this can be the same thing as 2 to the power of x, bringing my 3 outside here, plus 2 to the power of x equals 130. Now, next thing, let 2 to the power of x to equals to y. By doing this, I'm going to change 2 to the power of x with y. I mean, I'm going to replace 2 to the power of x with y. Let me asterisk this equation. So here, I'm going to have y to the power of 3 plus, this is now going to be y, plus y equal 130. Now, writing this equation here, I'm going to have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 130 equals to 0. Now, looking at this 130, now here I'm having 130. Okay, you write, multiplying this, this can be 26 multiplied by 5. Now, using this basic knowledge to simplify this y further. Okay, so my y can be written as 26 minus 25 is the same thing as 1. So using the same knowledge here to solve this quadratic equation. So here I'm going to have y cube minus 25 y, okay, plus 26 y minus 130. Now, using this, I can factor out y here, and I'm going to be left with what? y squared minus 25 plus 26 is common here. So factor out 26, I'm going to have y minus 5 equals 0. Now, looking at this, you can see that y minus 25 is not the same thing as y minus 5. But using the basic principle we've used in our previous videos, which is what? Difference of two squares. So using the principles of difference of two squares here, I'm going to have y, which is what? Don't forget the rule that says a squared minus b squared is the same thing as a plus b, a minus b. This is the principle of difference of two squares. So I'm going to apply that here. So here, I'm going to have y plus 5, y minus 5, okay, plus 26 y minus 5 equals 0. Now, we have what? y minus 5 common to both sides. So, coming down here, I'm now going to have factor out y minus 5. So, by factoring out y minus 5, so here, I'm going to be left with y y plus 5 plus 26 equals 0. Then what next? We can see that we have two separate equations. Here we can have y minus 5 equals 0 or y y plus 5 plus 26 equals 0. Now, here, my y can be 5. Or, oh, let's solve for this. y squared plus 5y plus 26 equals 0. This is another quadra this is a quadratic equation. Now, but before we go ahead to solve this quadratic equation, then let's find the discriminant to see if it has real roots. 
Now, using the method of the discriminant here, I'm going to have my D to be equals to B squared minus 4AC. And um, don't forget, my A is 1, B is 5, and C is 26. Then plugging in this into this, here I have my D to be equals to B squared, which is 25 minus 4 times A, which is 1, C, which is 26. So here I'm going to have 25, 1, 0, 4. So looking at this, you can see that we are going to get negative values. Okay, we are going to get semi negative 79. That shows it has no real roots. So now, our only concern is this. That means we only have one root. Okay, so y equals to 5, but we are not done yet. Don't forget this equation being asterisk. Here, I'm having 2 to the power of x equals to y. And what is my y? My y is 5. So here, I'm going to have 2 to the power of x equals to 5. Okay. Now, what do we do to get the value of our x? Applying log logarithm to both sides. So by applying log logarithm to both sides, here, I'm going to have log 2 to the power of x equals to log 5. Both having this term. And the rule of logarithm says this can come to the back of the logarithm. Here I'm going to have x log 2 equals to log 5. So what next? Divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is by log 2 by log 2. So my x can be log 5 over log 2. Finally, my s can be written in this form, log 5 base 2. You can leave your answer like this, or just find the value of this using your calculator, or you can leave your answer like this. Either way, it's perfect. Thank you very much for watching my videos. If you find this very exciting, don't forget to subscribe and also share my videos. Thank you.